hello guys welcome back to my channel this is kendala right here with a new video welcome to another episode and i'm here with my lovely sister ajua hi we're gonna be having a nice and lovely conversation and i hope you do enjoy this so join us and let's do this together All right, Adra, welcome to my channel. Hi, Della, thank I've, you. Yeah, I've been wanting to bring you to this channel for a long time. So finally, we, we've done it. We are here. We's, I'm happy. I'm also glad to be here. Nice, nice. So today, we're just going to have a lovely time. I would just want to ask you some few questions. Okay. And let um, something for my viewers, you know. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting. And uh, I find it amazing what you guys do and i really want to know how how you do it you know how has life been as a wife well it's been interesting so far mm -hmm. like i mean it's been everything i didn't actually think it was and those i thought it was i think the perception has changed like ever since like i became a wife because um five years back i just thought it was some huge responsibility like extra huge responsibility well, it's been five years already yes it's oh been wow, five wow, years wow, wow, wow. So um and I think it's it's been more interesting for me because luckily for me I've got like a a supportive husband yeah. who um like understands um his place first of all as a man and then um then as a husband. Mm -hmm. And so he juggles um he tries his possible best to like juggle in between like um his work and then um, um, running the home. So okay. it's, it's made my, my, my journey quite um, less stressful because okay. like, he's always there to like, support, support me. So it's, it's been cool. quite amazing. It's actually, the way I actually imagined mm -hmm. it was going to be, no, nah, no, nah, it's, it's, it's not, not like it's that. Like, it's, it's how, been, do you, how do you see it? Like? I was actually thinking like you're going to be a wife. It's like a lot of things at the same time. Mm -hmm. You're cooking, you're cleaning, you're taking care of kids. Mm -hmm you're managing and all that yeah. but interestingly enough like i said luckily for me i found i settled with someone that um, understands his place as a man first that's of all great. and then as a husband so he's been quite supportive so it's been like a very interesting five that's years that's nice that's nice so you have kids yes I do. so uh, how is the the experience like being a wife and a mother ah, we really want to go there anyway <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I was oh, I also say it's also been interesting. Mm -hmm. I have two boys, yeah. one three and then the other is like one year and a few months. Okay. <sighs> boys were hard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, dealing I with them mean. is like a, a uh -huh. handful. Yeah. Like trying to juggle like handling them together with their father and then having to so you have three men in the house you know <laughs> yeah and then having to um deal with my regular eight to five and then doing life as a woman as mm -hmm. well it's it's not been easy like it's not been easy but like i said it all boils down to yeah. the kind of partner, partner that you have. i i have so will you say has uh, being a wife and a mother changed you or it's just like normal yes there's a lot that i i believe has changed mm -hmm. over the past five years yeah. or should i say three to four because that's when i started having, having kids, children yeah. it's it's like massive change like massive change now i have to think for myself think for like three other human beings <laughs> i have to try to divide my attention yeah. with between one old man and two <laughs> little human yeah, beings yeah, yeah it's 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 there's there's been a lot of a changes lot, yeah. i mean i i i can really recall the way i was like everywhere at the same time and now i have to like try to prioritize and know when to be at, at what particular time yeah. so the, yes yes there's been a lot of changes that i have experienced personally mm -hmm. and i am um, as my role as a mother and then a wife yes there's been a lot so of what will you say has been some of the highs and lows of being a mother and a wife mm. okay i'll talk about the the highs first mm -hmm. So, um, the highs. I think um, 
I'll start with like when my kids came in. Yeah. Um, I've I've found some like extra companionship mm -hmm. from uh, my 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 two kids because I have like two very adorable boys and they are very interesting. Mm -hmm. And then um, let me let me deal with the. Let's come to the lows. Lows, okay. Okay, so it's 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 quite a handful, like I, yeah. I mentioned actually, because I do a regular eight to five yeah. job, and having to juggle between work. I my work schedule starts as early as six a.m. Okay, and I have like one school going child yeah. and then one toddler, okay. so you can imagine how mornings are like mm -hmm. for me. I have I, I literally go in very early and come back very late. So it's it's quite like a, a struggle. It's been quite stressful, but um, so how do you balance all these? Like being a career woman, eight to five, uh, being a mother, being a wife. Like how do you how do you do it? I don't actually think I've I've arrived at balance. If you'd ask you, you're me, still, because okay, like yes, I I just have come to a point that I've realized that I can have it all, but not all at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to do it bit by bit. And what I've also um, tried to do to make it more less stressful for myself is I try to delegate some of the responsibilities. responsibilities. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if I feel I'm getting too overburdened, mm -hmm. I just try to find um, someone that I, I can trust okay. to handle like the pressure at a particular point in time. But I don't think I have arrived at balance at all. I don't think this notion about um, finding Balancing. balance is like possible. I just feel um, it's more or less about um, who God has made you as an individual and then the fact that you get to understand that there are different um, seasons in a woman's life and those seasons come with its own time constraints, yeah. its own um, struggles and if you come to accept the fact that like, there are different seasons or there are different phases and that's it, like it's it's not like one particular phase is going to last it's like a passing phase so you have to take it one no, at a time, time. Yeah. i think it makes it less stressful mm -hmm. you don't get too burdened and um you try to get help when like it gets Needed. too yes overwhelming i don't think this balance thing is ever gonna be nah, nah. <laughs> but have you at any point in time have you thought of quitting like either quitting your job your career and just being like home being a stay home mom. more than one times really? like okay. i literally think about that's like when i have to wake up at like 4 a.m mm -hmm. every morning i just yeah. wish i could sleep a little longer or like i could have some extra time on my hands to do something personal but yes i've thought like a thousand and one times to leave my regular eight to five and then be like a full-time housewife yeah. but unfortunately i don't find myself like in a a place or in a country where that notion is so like yeah. um, easy going because mm. there are bills to be paid, paid yeah. like there are lives to be catered there are a lot of th people that are depending on you yeah. so you need all the extra yeah. cash that you can okay. get so let me see so all this is like so tough for you right mm -hmm. waking up at four your day start at four mm -hmm. but we like career your work your your being a wife mm -hmm. being a mother and all that and you still have something called butter brunch like okay first of all tell me a little bit about butter brunch okay all right so like i said i aside all the things that i have to like deal with mm -hmm. or juggle in between i manage to make time to actually also pursue purpose or to okay. do things that's um like aligns with my 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 vision or my goal for okay. life so i i am one person that's more um, interested or i'm i'm keen about things that have to do with women empowerment like okay. things that have to do with um self-healing awareness empowerment yes it's like my vibe so um i think somewhere last four years okay. yes I just had like a strong thing. I just wanted to to get at it. I just wanted to start something. Mm -hmm. So I just um, put together like a, a small garden. I just called a few friends that were interested. Mm -hmm. We picked a topic and then we dived into it. Like, I mean, we, we brought our varying views on the table. It sounded quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And um, afterwards, I think I liked the feedback that I, I got from the mm -hmm. ladies that attended. So I was like, 
why not just try it as a thing that you pursue as like a life goal so after that first meeting then i officially came out with butter branch so mm -hmm. butter branch is mine is one of i actually host i try to okay. host two uh, main events Event. every year okay. so butter branch is my first every year usually in the month of March. Okay. So what we do is um, we create like a, a very nice dining atmosphere mm -hmm. um, where we, we bring on board like um, level-headed or top um, leading like female entrepreneurs, um, co life coaches, yeah. like people that like have like some sort of experience. Okay. We, put, we pick a particular subject that is usually women skewed and then mm -hmm. we have them um, share their nuggets for for the women that attend and aside that we get to girl time we vibe we have fun uh, and then we dine yeah, yes. yeah that's important <laughs> the dining so part, that's yeah. that's that's what um okay we i i do like um every match and that's with butter branch okay. so butter branch is basically a women's empowerment um event that I that is hosted like in March every year. Okay. Yes, and the okay. second one. This the, okay. There, there's also a um, Kyle conference okay. that is um, more spiritually inclined. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, a, some would say more spiritus. Mm -hmm. yeah, so <laughs> there we 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 gather as women to fellowship, to okay. pray, to get in the word. There also we have like um um female um speakers or preachers yeah. come in pray we fellowship we vibe it's all fun but yeah. like in a more like spiritual way yes okay. exactly so that's what i've been i've been up to aside trying to be a wife and a mother mm -hmm. i try to catch up with that's, doing life that's, as well that's awesome you are doing you are doing well like you're you doing amazingly well Thank you. i i don't envy you like honestly having to do all this at the same time i it's don't envy you at all so what advice will you give to women like career women in your circle like that have family and all that and like they feel like giving up they feel like it's too much burden like they want to give up either family for their career or they want to give up their career for their family what advice will you give them okay so i'll just sum everything first of all in in one statement mm. and this is my my guiding philosophy like i mean don't try to be perfect okay. just be purposeful mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day as a woman i think we all have varied views goals ambitions for life yeah. just sit down and then know what works for you as like an individual and then take it one at a time. time and then when you you feel overburdened don't feel too big to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Help could be just hold on to my baby for 15 minutes, let me take a nap. Like, I mean, it's very beneficial. Okay. And then try to de like, delegate as much as possible. If you're feeling over overburdened, try to have some other person help you. And then don't awesome. put too much stress on yourself. I, yeah. I feel life is, there's more to life than just juggling between work and then and being a mother mm -hmm. like yeah. try to take things one at a time for yourself know what works for you sure. and then take it one one at a time so yes. nice that's interesting what about those young women out there who are yet to uh, have a family they are yet to get married and have kids and they have a career but they're scared of like they're scared of getting into this because they feel like once they get married and start having a family is gonna have uh, they have to give up probably give up their career mm -hmm. or they, they think it's gonna mess up their life or something mm -hmm. do you have any advice for them okay so what I'd, I'd say i think it all comes down to like what i have said mm -hmm. just know what works for you for you okay and then um try at it one at a time mm -hmm. and try to understand that as 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 a woman like i mean you encounter different seasons in your life so first it even starts with just you and your husband yeah you have to just cater for one yeah and then comes in kids then yeah. now you have to cater for your husband as well as the um, children yeah. so they're like different seasons or different phases mm -hmm. i think once you get to understand that you don't have to be too scared even starting it off at, at i am in the first place once you get to know that oh eventually like i mean even getting into the 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 
season of even waiting to be married is like yeah. a whole season on its yeah. own. Yeah. yeah. Once you understand that there are different phases or there are different seasons that we have to go through as women and we have to take it one at a time. I don't feel I don't think it will be too scary or too burdensome to like get into it at the same time. Yeah. So just take it one at time. a time. Yes. You heard it all. Just take it one at a time. Don't be scared. Ask for help if you need yeah, help. And what? Just know what works for you. Yeah. Right, so it's been so interesting having you here. I've learned a lot. And I know what you guys go through. I know how burdensome it can be. Yeah. But, you know, you guys are doing great. You're doing yeah. great. Till I see you in the next video. It's your guy, Kendela, saying peace out.